I am in California and it is beautiful here. Just doing a shakeout run right now uh, before tomorrow, Sean O'Brien 100K. In contrast to this very uh, flat, smooth pavement I'm running on, tomorrow will be a very different story. There is a lot of elevation in store for me tomorrow. And the trails, well, we'll see. I signed up for Sean O'Brien two years ago, uh, 20, 2018, and broke my foot three weeks before it rolled around. So was not able to run it then. Last year, uh, they had actually just had fires come through Malibu, burning a lot of the course. So last year was canceled. And finally this year, I am back. I'm ready to run. Well, we'll see. <laughs> the being ready part is debatable. Let's say that I am as ready as I possibly can be, given the circumstances. So I really have not felt my foot um, stress fracture in the past, oh, I would say three or four weeks now, maybe three weeks. So looking good on that front, but of course training was definitely affected. That said, the past uh, two and a half weeks with my new coach uh, has definitely given me confidence. So. Maybe not going into this with as much training as I'd like, but I'm confident I can finish it. But no matter what happens out there tomorrow, more than anything, what I'm looking for, and this goes for all my ultras, what I'm looking for is the experience of running and hiking to the point of discomfort, sometimes extreme discomfort, and being allowed to choose my reaction to that discomfort. I have suffered in a lot of past ultras and that is not the reaction that I want to choose. I go into these to embrace any discomfort, any pain and work through it and in doing that I do feel that it makes me stronger in the long run and in a, an odd type of way uh, brings me peace. So that more than anything is what I'm after tomorrow. So, let's finish up this little shake-up run, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, it's nearly 4 a.m. I gotta get my butt to the start line. Let's go get to that start line. Okay, four minutes to go time. Today's adventure. Hey, how are you? What's up, man? Okay, about <laughs> three kilometers in. And I believe there is a stream crossing coming right up. Okay, I had to wait a few minutes in line to get to this stream crossing, but here we go. Time to get the feet wet, whether I like it or not. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. We are heroes tonight. We will fly above the sky. Okay, that was not nice. I tried to avoid ah, getting in the stream by stepping on some rocks and I managed just to fall right in. But in the stream, amazing. All right, now with wet feet, that was at about mile two of the creek crossing. We will make our way forward in the dark. Okay, since the stream crossing, there has been three kilometers of straight up, more or less, through the trails for a kilometer, and two kilometers of straight up on this service road. And I'm guessing we'll be on this service road for probably another kilometer at least. Upwards and onwards. Well, that's 6K of climbing so far. Climbing sure gets you some amazing views though. Beautiful. Views on both sides. Okay, gotta run. There might be some downhill now, maybe. 
I am at nine kilometers. Still a long ways to go. And here we go, coming into aid station number one. I am at nearly 12 kilometers. There we are. Hey! You can see here the burnt trees. Clearly this part of the trail was on fire. Last year, crazy. I'm at nearly 14 kilometers. Got some lovely downhill here. Very much enjoying it. A little bit of single track downhill. Ooh. Ah, it is so beautiful. Well, I'm at about 20 kilometers in and three hours, nine minutes. It's pretty much either up, up, up or down. It's just been a bunch of ups and downs, kilometer up, kilometer down, not even. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, should be hitting the next aid station, aid station two in about a mile and a half. <sighs> Let's just keep climbing up, running down, climbing up, running down, and enjoying this amazing day. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, aid station number two. You need a drop bag? Uh, climbing up another service road. I'm at uh, 28 kilometers. It is getting warm. It's gonna get warmer. Um, I think I'm chasing cutoffs. And I was right. The reason why this is called such a tough 100k is there is so much climbing. So much climbing. So I'm just gonna do my best and see what happens out here today. Okay, we got some downhill and some views. Wow. Well, for as long as I can be out here, I am going to enjoy it. Nice job, 283. Coming up on 31 kilometers. Nice 47. Job, 47. Thank you. I'm at four hours, 43 minutes. All right. Well, that was four kilometers of pretty much straight downhill on the service road. Uh, and then just under a kilometer ago, dipped into this trail, which is still downhill. So downhill might be giving up the quads a little bit, but I'm thankful for it. It's helping me to make up some time. And I'm at almost at 36 kilometers, five hours, 11 minutes. Onwards. Here. All right, A station. <laughs> Just past 39 kilometers. I believe that the last A station I went through was the one with the cutoff um, of six hours and 15 minutes. So I believe I'm about 45 minutes under cutoff maybe. And I've got about uh, four kilometers of climbing ahead of me, maybe. Who really knows? I'll just take it one step at a time. Okay, I'm at 42.2 kilometers. A marathon done in uh, six and a half hours. Oh, this is quite the climb. Okay. A little bit of a reprieve here. And then, then I got more up. Um, probably about two or three kilometers. No, up two. About two more kilometers of up, up, up. Just keep at her. Well, I was wrong about the climbing. Right at the marathon mark, it started going downhill. I've been going downhill for, oh, past three and a bit kilometers and looks like I got more downhill, which really <laughs> means that I gotta go up it all again. Um, but I'll take the downhill for now. Whew. I'm at 45.65 kilometers, according to my watch. I've been climbing nonstop since I last checked in, 40, Nine kilometers, ran out of water, hot, 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 and 
Oh my gosh. Good news is aid station. Right there. Thank goodness. I'm still climbing straight up. Uh, it's been almost two kilometers since leaving the aid station. I'm at 50.7 kilometers. Eight hours and five minutes. And uh, unfortunately, the aid station was out of water. One jug gave me about half a cup of water, some ice. So I gotta make it five miles, so about six more kilometers to go before I have another chance to find some water. Uh, looking forward to that. So uh, this is tough. This is tough. <laughs> Just like I was told it was gonna be. 47. I've never been so happy to see an aid station. 407. Okay, I'm at 57 kilometers ish. I'm so thirsty. So, climbing again. I swear the majority of this race is up. Um, it was amazing to fill up on water, and now I have um, all the water. So good. I had a lot of climbing. So I gotta go up, up, up. Up, up, up. Try not to be annoyed with myself for not being a stronger climber. So many people pass me on the climb. So many pass so much. But I just do the best I can. Keep trekking forward. That's all I can do. No idea where I'm at in terms of cutoffs. Uh, I'm at 61.4 kilometers. Nine hours, 56 minutes. 16 hour cutoff for the entire race. I don't know. <laughs> Find out. Hi. I am at 68.25 kilometers. And well, I am going to get dropped to the 50 miler at the next aid station. And I was feeling pretty bummed out about it. But then I bumped into Jennifer and we've been chatting for the past few miles and I'm actually totally okay with it. This is a really tough 100K. <laughs> Did I mention that already? This is a really tough 100K. Tough 50 miler. <laughs> tough 50 miler too, yeah. Oh my gosh. And so with the amount of training that I did, even if I did all the training in the world, I don't know, man, but it's all good. So onward to the finish line from here. Woo. Okay, and with that, as I leave the aid station, I am officially dropped. I have a nice little X on my bib. So I am going to go across the 50 miler finish line and get a 50 miler medal and enjoy these beautiful views because coming back the way I came, I get to see it in the daylight. I know there's some amazing views coming up. Okay, that's it. There's definitely more up than down in this race. Just kidding, obviously there's not, but wow, does it ever feel like it? I am at nearly 71 kilometers. That'll be about nine more kilometers to finish. I should have a bunch of downhill. Looking forward to that, I think. Quads are kind of beat up. Right now, just enjoying the views. And I'll just add, I am so okay with being dropped to the 50 miler. Um, I mean, I could definitely, if I were given the time, definitely go out and finish the 100K, but I am also just looking forward to crossing the finish line. Um, I mean, with the amount of training that I did, not enough. Um, it's good. It worked out. All good. Still have to finish 100K one day. Just not today. I have descended into fog. A little cool. Um, also, this really hurts. I would like to be running down the hill. But uh, the legs are like, yeah, no, no. Let's just jog. 74 kilometers on the dot. 
I think I'm getting close. I just need to go down a little bit more. In about three kilometers, I will encounter the stream crossing once again. And then in another three kilometers, the blessed finish line. And hubby will be there waiting for me. Okay, let's go finish this. Okay, I am losing light fast. I need to pull up my headlamp. I'm at 56 and a half kilometers. Oh, still a ways. Still a ways. Uh, let me see. Half a mile to the creek. And then from the creek, it's three miles to the finish. Five and a half. Five, six. Ooh, yeah. Okay, still a ways. <sighs> Getting there, though. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. We are heroes too. I can hear the finish line. Oh, I can see the finish line. I am glad to see that finish line. I have no problem seeing it now. Instead of in 24K. Okay, wow, well, that was, that was quite the adventure yesterday. It is, um, it is actually nearing almost 24 hours since I finished the race. It's about 5.30 and I finished um, just after 6.30 yesterday. When I hit uh, that 60 kilometer aid station, I would have had to have been there probably about 45 minutes before I got there in order to be allowed to continue on in the 100K. So I did finish the 50 miler in just over 13 and a half hours. It, it is a tough race. When the website says this is a tough race, it is a tough race. But again, given I wasn't trained as best I could, I do have experience in enough races now to know when I go into a race untrained or not well-trained, um, I always will call it tougher than in when I'm well-trained. It's not as tough, surprisingly unsurprisingly. So that is my adventure of the Sean O'Brien 100k turned into 50 miler. Um, I really do want to come back one day properly trained and do the 100k. I've got a few races now where I feel like I've got to go back. I got to finish what I started. This is now one of them. Three on the list so far. Overall, honestly, amazing race experience other than running out of water. That was really unfortunate. That was not the reason I uh, fell behind, had to drop down at all. Um, it was just unfortunate. Not the end of the world, just unfortunate. Um, overall though, amazing course, beautiful, 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 beautiful scenery. I would be happy to come back just to be able to run that route again. Well, until next time, Sean O'Brien, I'll be back. Gotta go back and start what I finished. Finish what I started.